Dear all, in this video, I'm going to discuss the working principle of transformer. In the last session, I discussed about what is the meaning of transformer. So we'll understand how does transformer operate. So what is the basic working principle of transformer? So the main working principle of transformer is uh, the principle of mutual induction. You can note the principle of principle of mutual induction. Actually, uh, mutual induction, uh, we can say it's a part of like uh, Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. There are two segments. One is called uh, two type of induction. One is self-induction. Other one is mutual induction. All are like uh, comes under Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. So moving on to the discussion as to explain the working. So what we are supposed to do is it is better to draw one simple diagram. So you know that the transformer comprises of two important components. One is known as transformer core. So this is actually called a transformer core. We can see this is my transformer core. Okay. So transformer core is made up of silicon steel. Why silicon steel? Because uh, to minimize the hysteresis loss, we'll be using silicon steel. If you use silicon steel, it has low value of hysteresis and uh, the flux variation. That will be very less in the case of silicon steel. So it is better to go for uh, silicon steel as a transformer core. So this is the first part, the transformer core. Also, core is just like a laminated, okay, like a sli slice, sliced one, like to minimize uh, eddy current loss. Those losses I will discuss later on. First, you understand that this is called a transformer core. Now, please draw transformer winding. Okay, we have the transformer winding. Okay, there are two types of winding. One is known as primary winding. Other one is known as secondary winding. So, we have primary winding. You can draw like a primary winding. primary winding next you can draw the secondary winding okay so this is known as secondary winding winding is usually uh, it is made up of with the copper only copper conductor okay so we we can note down this is called secondary winding right now First of all, what you are supposed to do is because why transformer is required. Sometimes the load require high voltage. Our input is very less. So you need to go for step up, step up action. Conversely, we have high input voltage, but our load require less voltage. So I need to go for step down action. Correct. More in the case of like a, a current also, sometimes we go, we'll go for high current application, sometimes low voltage application. So like you can change uh, the voltage and current either stepping up or stepping down. That is the ultimate requirement. So usually like uh, in the secondary side, we are going to keep the load. Okay. Like uh, whatever you want, you are going to keep like load. Usually we are going to keep the load at the secondary side. First of all, what you are going to do is our here our ultimate uh, goal. You can say here number of turns at the primary. That is let us call N1. So number of turns at the secondary that is called N2. Because in the Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction, you might have studied that E is directly proportional to N d phi by dt. As the number of turns is very high, obviously EMF also will be high. So depends depends on the like, uh, if you provide more number of turns, you are able to get high voltage. If you are providing less number of turns, you are getting low voltage. Okay, that's the concept. Anyway, we can say, we can explain how does transformer operate. First of all, we are going to apply the primary voltage. We are applying the primary, okay, V. We are applying the input voltage, okay, at the primary side. As soon as you apply the input voltage, the primary current starts flowing through the winding. Uh, so, we can apply the Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. So, what is going to happen? It will interact with the transformer core. Okay, we have the winding also. Immediately afterwards, what is going to happen? An EMF is going to induce at the primary side. That is called E1. So this E1 is uh, due to because of self-induced EMF, E1. Okay, you can note down. Uh, E1 will be produced due to, it's known as self-induced EMF. E1 is self-induced EMF. Then, uh, what will happen? The flux starts flowing through the core. 
okay the flux start flowing through the core uh, see the core is become will act as a medium the flux will transfer from primary side to secondary side like this whatever the flux which is generated at the primary that will interact with the secondary as a result flux changes will be taken place at the secondary due to change the flux linkage an induced emf see we can mark like this an induced emf is going to generate at the secondary how the induced emf is generated because uh, the whatever the flux which is generated at the primary side that will travel towards uh, the secondary through a medium called a transformer core core will act as a medium to transfer the magnetic flux the flux will interact with the secondary turns as a result an emf is induced at the secondary that yeah, that is actually called e2 so we call e2 is now mutually induced emo okay you can make a note of that mutually induced emo mutually induced emo that is why it is called a mutual induction the working principle of transformer is mutual induction right so uh, here the number of turns usually then uh, like uh, we, uh, in this diagram the number of turns at the secondary is greater than number of turns at the primary so uh, here the step up action will be taken place step up action step up it said step up action okay so this type of transformer is known as step up transformer so now uh, mathematically we can write so let us write the equation for self induced emo okay we can write e1 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 is equal to n1 into d phi 1 by d phi by dt because flux is common okay this is called a self induced emf similarly e2 we can write e2 is equal to uh, n2 into uh, d phi by dt you please call equation number 2 this is self induction okay self induction self induction and uh, second equation is basically uh, mutual induction mutual induction now what i am going to do is i am going to take the ratio equation number 2 is divided by equation number 1 1 and 2 i am going to divide so what will happen e2 divided by e1 that is equal to uh, n2 by n1 because uh, phi, d phi by dt is common that is getting cancelled so you can uh, call this is known as equation number uh, 3 similarly uh, when i when i was talking about the transformer whatever the power okay power will be expressed in terms of kva kva kilovolt ampere okay the power at the primary and the power at secondary that will be same only okay power at primary power rating okay power rating at primary primary side will be equal to power rating at secondary power rating uh, at secondary okay so by the way what is the power rating at the primary i can write e1 into i1 because kilo volt ampere right volt ampere similarly power at secondary will be e2 e2 into i2 correct so mathematically we can write uh, e2 by e1 see e2 by e1 that is equal to i1 by i2 let me call this is equation number 4 do one thing combining equation number uh, 2 and 3 Please combine equation number 2 and 3. Combining. Okay. Combining equation number. No, sorry. 3 and 4. 3 and 4. So please take care of equation number 3 and 4. 3 you can see and 4 also you can observe. By combining equation number 3 and 4, I can write the equation like this. E2 by E1. E2 by E1 equal to N2 by N1 equal to I1 by i2 that is known as k where k is known as transformation ratio transformation ratio by checking the value of k we will be getting so much of information suppose if k greater than uh, 0.5 or 50 percentage or 50 percentage then the transformer is known as step up transformer step up transformer Conversely, if k less than 0.5 or 50 percentage, then the transformer is known as uh, step step down 
transformer. Suppose if k is equal to 1, that is known as isolation transformer. Isolation uh, transformer. What is isolation transformer? It is also known as 1 is to 1 transformer. 1 is to 1 transformer. Where uh, it, the uh, transformer isolate the primary side and secondary side. Correct? So, however, uh, these are the major in information about the transformer. How does it operate? And we studied about the transformation ratio as well. Usually, transformer will uh, denote. Okay, transformer can denote by using this symbol. If you find this symbol, uh, do understand that this is transformer. This is the transformer. Okay, symbol of transformer. Transformer symbol. In some literature, you can see the transformer symbol will be like this also. At that time, don't get confused. Do understand that this is a transformer symbol. So draw neatly. Okay, like this. So it represents the primary side, and this is actually called the secondary side. Here, these are the like uh, this is called core transformer core. Transformer core. These are the windings. I hope you understood. So by the way, let us uh, conclude the session. So in this session, we discussed about. Uh, the working principle, working principle, working principle in a single sentence, I can say transformer works based on the principle of mutual induction. Second one, I discussed about the term called uh, transformation, transformation ratio, that is K. Depends on the value of K, I can predict whether tra transformer will perform either step up action or step down action. Third one is we discussed about the symbol of transformer. Symbol of transformer. These are the primary information we discussed in this session. In the forthcoming session, I am going to come up with some numerical example so that the concept will be very clear to everybody. So if you have any queries, do let me know. I am going to uh, communicate through comment box. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning. Have a great day. Thank you.